all guys one of the things that you have to do in the asphalt industry it's to go reverse I have been going now from 200 meters and I, I have decided to show you that what is how difficulties you can have by going in reverse for example the previous in the morning now it's uh, almost evening but in the morning when I have bring the first the first material in the morning I have done one kilometer reverse to go with the semi truck and this is just one of the things that you have to be able to perform like a truck driver when you work for an asphalt company as you can see the road is not a giant road it's not a highway it's 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 a village road so no, but in fact it's a road that is going to connect two villages It's quite challenging to go in reverse with the semi truck here. But uh, almost every company prefers semi trucks because they can transport a higher payload and also they are very, very economic way of transporting human things. So I have to be careful not to rush better not to rush them to restart this maneuver again so it's, as you can see it's plenty of difficulties having here it's uh, I just wanted to make this little video to demonstrate to you maybe one day when I have more to make this uh, reverse Sometimes could be two kilometers going in this way, reversing, you know, by, by going in the reverse, so it's quite difficult. Yeah. But you have to be trained. And I have to admit, my first times, they have been hilarious. I mean, it's very, very difficult to perform this task. It's difficult, I mean, in the first time, it's the first place when you learn to drive this truck. Performing parkings, doing parallel parking, putting a semi truck into the box how we are, how are we call it or into the gate for being unloaded or loaded it's uh, difficult absolutely it's difficult but this is something that is in another level I mean it's no out of it's no out of school or truck school that is going to help you this is one thing that you you are that you you, you you have to learn by working in this industry. I'm not going to be able to. All the times I have to look in the mirrors and retrovisors there because easily I could go down. I mean, I could easily I could could mess up all the, the thing. And in fact, I have done just a mistake. Usually I don't do mistakes, but when you are talking, when you are trying to explain, it's, it's a hard to turn, as you can see. And, okay, now just a couple meters. You have to go just a couple meters. And it's sometimes it's more easily to see the, the, the left mirror than to look in the left mirror. So this is one of the reasons why sometimes it's difficult okay I think we, we have overcome this in the past and I'm seeing trucks coming in my way because they have haven't they have finished unloading so I, I have to think to, even for them so to, to make a place even for them and you're going to see another semi truck this is semi truck, it's not from our company. They are just companies who they work for us. And, uh, you 
usually in this situation he is going to think for me I'm not going to think too much for him because he is empty and I am I am fully loaded I mean he is going to think more for me than I am going to think for him so he is going to make space for me in fact he is going to stop and he's not stopping I mean he is just snaking into the Telling me something, I think he's telling me to the truth. Come on, dude. Okay. Because with the Lord, I don't have room too much to move. And in fact, one of the things that you have to evitate here, it's not to go in the edge of the of the road. Because if you go too much, it's not asphalt can easily can easily go with the truck down and okay and he knows that my colleague there he knows pretty well and in fact they are two big strong okay this is what you have to do my friend you have to stand still and I have to navigate not me to navigate around Story hour. Okay, they can go now. And I, I and I have to say I'm quite in the edge now, so I have to go forward. Okay, so I am D1. has reverse and mounting and this is very great because if you put in the normal reverse the truck is wanting to go faster and you don't need to go faster in this in this situation I mean you you need to, to the truck to stop because as you can see we are in reverse but the terrain the terrain of the road it's not flat I mean it's we are going downhill on the downhill and it's many curbs so now the machine that is laying the asphalt is not far from me so I mean 200 meters there it's another truck which has finished and been unloaded now and they are waiting for me
now it's more steep than steeper hill than the previous. I need more to fall. I'm thinking that I have to go there in fact to let him go. I don't know why he's not moving. Maybe he has some problems. So I'm going to go this way to work me. To create space for him. Down 600 meters of reversing now, going to the reverse. Now, 600 meters is going to be in fact when I am to the machine. They are talking, I don't know why they are talking. I mean, come on, dude. I hate. I really hate when, when, when this thing then when you see truck drivers, I mean during the work they stop, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. And they should not do this in fact. If you need to talk with something or for something, I mean not during the work, why you do this? So he's going now. Come on, dude. only the first layer it's more difficult to navigate because you don't want it to go to the edge of the asphalt I have I have done that mistakes two or three times and when you do that you know what is gonna happen sometimes the asphalt can break the first layer of the asphalt can break like a piece of pump because when you go with all this weight edge of the asphalt, especially when it, that, that asphalt is new, it's not, I mean, uh, it's not uh, fully, fully hardened, because it takes some time, I mean, for like concrete, like everything, to be in his full strength.
that and I hope the truck is not going to move. I mean it's going to stay. Hi! Hi. The machine is going to. The machine is going to. Okay. So what I need to do now is only turn in the wheel. In fact, to to activate the.
asphalt or just to turn left or right the truck because they are in the ground and especially the, the operator of the asphalt machine, the lay down asphalt machine, he is the most expert guy here. So he's going to direct me. And as you can see, I'm asphalt machine is pushing the truck and it's uh, I am just trying to be in synchronization with the direction they, they are Sometimes I could, I think that sometimes I need to go right, they say me, no, you want to go left, so I am not an expert. Usually I don't do this work, in fact, I don't transport the asphalt, I am, okay, they said me to unload more, so I'm going to unload more asphalt. procedure guys so you can see now how much we have came to the reverse I mean I'm gonna tell you the place where I have turned where I have made the turn when I have made the turn that you are going to see I hope the the video is not gonna be wobbly Sometimes I see when I'm making videos because I'm not using an, uh, I mean, an expensive, an expensive video camera. I'm, I'm just using my, I, I, I'm just using my phone. Okay, I'm just going to show you where I have made the turn. It's the turn that I have made is here. I hope, I hope you, you can see that. Yes, here. Here is the place where I have made. Okay, where I am in the, in the where I am in the flat front surface, I'm going to stop the truck and I have to go to inspect the bumper that I need to put it down. But the bumper I need to inspect the lights because because sometimes they could be they, they could be damaged. saluted me, he knows pretty well English and he 
he's a good guy, absolutely. And sometimes I work with him, and he's a good guy, absolutely. So all that you, this road that you are seeing is going, I mean, these two or three days, is going to be full of asphalt. This week, the first layer, and maybe the next week, the second layer. And they are pretty much differentiated between the two layers. I mean, the first layer is with uh, more larger stones. With more, you have gravel and sand together. The, the second layer, uh, the layer that is going to be on top, we don't have gravel, I mean, it's from 0 to 11 millimeters that the sand is going to be done. Now it's from 0 to 22 millimeters, so the half. The half size of the sand, of, of the gravel, is going to, to be needed for the, for the second and the third. For the, Last layer or the fi final layer of that asphalt. Six months ago, I didn't know those things absolutely not. So now that I am every day in, uh, at work and transporting gravel and sand for asphalt, I mean, now I know every single type of the gravel or of the sand that I can. That they here in Kosa, where I am, we use to make the land. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here, right here, and we'll spank the truck. And thank you very much, guys. I hope you are going to like this video. If you like this video and you, if you are interested in more, let me know. And I'm gonna upload something else that is gonna be better, better beneficiary for you. Thank you very much. See you in another time. Hello, guys. I um, just want to show you that uh, this was the semi truck that I, uh, I was going in the first rebirth. I'm going to attach another video that I have done another day that you can see. That day I wasn't working with asphalt, I was been loaded with gravel and with an asphalt gravel with 0 to 22 millimeter that one that had I uh, that I have explained you that we use to manufacture asphalt and by the way this is the roads that we use I mean we use we we have to deal with during the transport. Now I am empty, I am going to, to the base where we manufacture asphalt. I don't think I'm going to be loaded again, but just to show you, I mean, just to show you the difficulties that we face as truck drivers, how difficult it is sometimes this is not a highway, absolutely. This is barely, I mean, barely for two cars. Look, I have to go out of the road to make space from the guy who is coming from, from the down, downhill going uphill. And, and I am very glad that I am empty if I was loaded no way I could hold this phone on my hand and talking with you no way I will be fully concentrated going down the coffee there is the, the bottle of the coffee so it's all gone by now <laughs> yep <laughs> 